My name is Emily Hughes and I am the Community Coordinator at Advocates for Children in Lewiston and our goal is to help children and families lead healthy and productive lives, which is why I'm here today to talk to you about underage drinking, which I know parents, it's a tough conversation to have with your teen, but it's an important one. Um, we know that half of Androscoggin County high school students uh, report they've had at least one drink and they also report that they think they could get away with having one or more drinks without their parents knowing. And I know parents, you want to think, you think you would know if your child's drinking, but um, that may not, that might not be the case. So I want to give you some quick tips to help you get through this period with your teen. Um, I know it's a tough one. Um, the first thing to do is to limit access. So it's important for you to know where the alcohol is in your home um, at all times and how much is in there. Um, keeping track of that is a great first step. Um, also, if you are aware of underage drinking in your community, to alert the local police. That's another important thing you can do. In terms of your network, um, you want to make sure you know your teen's friends. You want to make sure you know their parents. And even better, have a conversation with your, um, your child's uh, friend's parents to have you know, an understanding of what their rules are, what your rules are, and expectations so that you can stop the drinking before it starts. Um, something else to do is, you know, your rules in general is enforcing them. You want to be preempting any underage drinking and, you know, if you do come across this underage drinking, enforcing your rules will prove to your teen that you are serious. Um, and also check in often, you know, have conversations with your child, you know, don't let them isolate themselves in their room or at friends' houses or in the basement or wherever. Uh, make sure you know where they are and what they're doing because you care. Not because necessarily because you're trying to control them, but that just because you care. Um, and, you know, set curfews and be ready to enforce those curfews so that you can have them at home. Um, just a quick note about signs if your child is drinking and maybe drinking heavily is if you see, um, you know, problems at school, problems with relationships, family and friends, um, you know, bloodshot eyes, you know, weight loss. Um, carelessness with grooming, the smell of alcohol, you know, you can see these signs and I think um, if you can have that conversation with your teen um, now, even before it happens or if you think it's happening, have that conversation with them and I think, um, you know, you, you can make a difference and that's what our hope is uh, with this message.